Hey, welcome to our coding hour. Today we're going to be figuring out how to get the micro bit to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. And also we might even get over to Kelvin over there. So what we have going here is button A, when we press it, we figure out our temperature in Celsius. Push button B, we get our temperature in Fahrenheit. And then if we make it A, B, just for kicks and giggles, we'll help us out with Kelvin. So let's get started. I'm going to start out in make code. Converting temperatures. Very nice. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of these. Well, I'm not going to need those anymore. There you go. And input on button A. And this one will just get it nice and ready for us on button B. So we have button A and button B here. We're going to be establishing things into both of these. Very first thing we want to establish, show number. And the input we're going to be working with today is, of course, temperature. There you go. Plug in right there. I'm going to leave this one blank for now. That is totally on purpose. We'll come back to it in just a minute. So let's go here to advanced. We're going to write a function today. Functions are fun. You can make your thing do all sorts of things. So in this case, we're going to say convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. This is going to be beautiful. And we're going to add a capital C right here in this lovely little circle. Done. Now, what next? Go back to function. Now we've been provided with this lovely button called return button. I'm going to plug it in right there. Now we're going to get our math ready. So we have some math for when we convert our values from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Go over here to math. You're going to have an addition problem. And you're going to have some multiplication going on. Uh, we're going to add the addition one first. I'll explain why in a little bit here. See that? So this right here for our function, it means it is going to multiply first and then it's going to add. If I did it the other way, if I multiplied last, then I would have all sorts of problems hanging on. But in this case, I'm going to multiply first and then I'm going to add last. Now, uh, another reason why we do this is if our Celsius is ever zero. What would happen if we multiplied last is the entire function would be zero and you'd end up with the wrong number over here. So there we go. I have all this lovely stuff plugged in. Now let's go back to here where it says show number. Now when I click on functions, this button comes up. Call to convert. Convert C to F. This is basically saying, okay, I've established my function. Now this function is going to talk to this area right here. And we need an input again. Go back here. Our temperature input, of course, C, very good. So now you have, or on button A is pressed, it's going to show a temperature of degree C. When button B is pressed, it's going to say show number, but then it's going to come here to this conversion function. It's going to take that value of C, or the temperature C that it receives. It's going to plug it into this handy dandy equation, which is going to convert it to Fahrenheit. Let's see what it does. Over here, Click my little play button. I'm going to click on A. It's giving me 21 degrees C. That's just a random number that it decided to choose. When your micro bit is plugged in, it will show you the actual temperature. And when I click on B, there we go. That is equivalent to 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Very good. So now we have both those buttons working. Now, if you noticed, in my first code over here, I included Kelvin. Kelvin's kind of another fun little thermometer temperature gauge that's used here on earth so let's do kelvin too why not let's have fun with this so we're going to say button a b is pressed so again we're going to go here we're going to show a number now we're going to have to make another function just like we did down here function make a function up here again pick number this time convert C, capital C, to K. There we go. And capital K in that handy dandy little spot. 
there's our function for k. Exact same thing that we did before. We're going to return a function here. In this case, it's going to be a little bit different of an equation. You don't use the same equation because it's a different type of conversion. In this case, we're going to be adding on 273.15 degrees in order to get K. In case you're wondering, K, or Kelvin, uh, was put together by Lord Kelvin. He decided that instead of using the zero degrees Celsius, which is when ice is formed, he decided instead to know what absolute zero was, and he decided that that was going to be negative 273 degrees. That degree, absolute Kelvin, is what happens when you have no movement of any molecules anymore. Everything stops. Life stops. So, just like we did before, we need to call the conversion. So, in this case, call conversion Celsius to Kelvin. Plug it in right there. And, of course, again, I'm going to need to find my handy-dandy temperature C once more. There we go. Let's make sure we can play this. Here we go. Ready? We push the button for C, 21 degrees. Push the button for B, 69.8. And for B, 294.15. There you go. There's how you make this lovely code for converting your temperatures from Fahrenheit to Celsius to Kelvin. Have fun.